Uh, hey guys, everyone, for welcome back to another epic review. I just got done actually doing the Backstage Mayhem Brawl playset review with actual working battery, working sound effects. So if you guys haven't seen that, check it out in the top right corner of this video. We just got done doing it. And I decided since this box was already a little open from when I bought it, and it was already opened up, as you can see, every time all the pieces were coming out, I was like, fudge it, let's review this. And I actually have... Um, Four figures that actually go to the set. But obviously, China I have, but she's in package, and I'm not gonna rip open up a brand new China figure. Um, I hate it when they do this to me when I was a little kid. I was so excited to get a new main kind, new China. Nope, yeah, action figure sold separately, of course. But yeah, I got I got a main kind figure, and I also got the uh, I also got um, the China figure, but I just don't have her. Actual, actually loose. I got it by Jack Specific Prop Box. There's actually a couple of Prop Box playsets that I know of. But yeah, this is what it is. You know, backroom brawl, hot dog vending car with pop up umbrella, cool junk food uh, with all the condiments, you know, stuff like that. Tray of food. You get two sided walk uh, walls and floor. And then you got a pizza and box. So. And it shows you how to assemble it, which obviously you guys, we should be able to figure it out. It's funny how they have all this, this, like, yeah, right. I don't think there's actual mustard in there, just like you guys know. But yeah, you guys can see the rock. I never saw that until now. The rock's actually there. Yeah, China, and you also got uh, Mankind. And I actually have all these figures right here that we're using. You got Kane, Stone Cold, as you guys can see, is brand new. Not one mark on him. The rock, and you also got, have a nice day, Mankind. So let's get this set up, you guys right now so we're actually gonna do that. I'm actually gonna show you guys if you guys uh, want more videos like this please smash the like button subscribe as well and this I have no idea where it goes oh, this just holds this up in there so we're actually gonna do this and this is thing that Mattel and WF stuff have in common they actually uh, do cardboard some stuff actually do cardboard they do cardboard stuff so like cardboard backgrounds and stuff like that so there's the umbrella that goes into the hot dog stand here are the backstage pieces along with this is the corner that actually keeps them together that actually keeps, just keeps the cardboard pieces together and I believe uh, it should go somewhere like this I don't know what I'll have to figure it out when I pull this stuff out so here's this one here's the floor piece so uh, we're actually gonna get we're actually gonna pause this camera and I'll show you guys in one minute what it looks like okay sorry about that so we're going to move all this stuff right here, like so, and I'm actually going to put this down. And here are the uh, two pieces of cardboard. Also, we have rules and obviously the food court. So uh, we're going to put it down like this. So if, let's say we want the food court. We're going to put this down like this, okay? And we're going to grab this like so, and both pieces, so can go like this so either either way you can go like this or like this and now I want the food court obviously because it matches okay let's actually get this the camera frame here so I actually want this food court so I actually put this like so and then you also put this on this side it does not matter what side it goes on you guys it really doesn't not that I built not to my knowledge um actually never mind yeah nope because these sides I believe are supposed to go in like this, the straight sides are supposed to go in like this. Uh, yep, because the these pointed sides are supposed to be out. Uh, so we have to put this in like so. If I can just kind of slide it. You don't have to slide it in hard; it'll stay just like that. You don't really need to shove it in there, man. You just gently need to put it in there. And sometimes it'll actually fall over. That's okay. Um, so like that, perfect, awesome. There you go. And then you have your setup. It's already done, so you have all that. You get actual, you get a WF table with these stickers. You manually have to put on yourself, um, but it's an awesome, fun breakaway table. Everybody loves the tables, like tables, ladders, and chairs. Everybody loves the uh, equipment. So we're actually gonna pause this really quick and uh, set it up for you guys. So hold on. Okay, you guys, I forgot all about the extra stuff. What the hell? Sorry about that remove this and this is how you set up the umbrella it's not very hard you actually just this little red top right here and you put 
turn it upside down, and then you actually put the stick right into the umbrella, and it should pop. You should hear a popping sound. Like that. And then you actually look at it, it, can, it spins. It's like a big lollipop. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to look at it. Okay, so then we have one of, actually one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite um, accessories. The food accessory kit. This is amazing. Um, you have all these, these are all actual separate stuff. So like fries, you got fries, you have a soda, and you actually have a drink, and you actually have a tray. And then you have two hot dogs. A pizza, which I actually had last night, pretty good. Um, I don't think I would eat that, though. Um, and what kind of condiments did they put on that pizza? God. And they actually have a pizza box that actually says pizza. And you have two, it says mustard and ketchup. And then you also have the cart that you can actually put drinks and stuff in. It's very cool. So I'm actually going to open this up. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. And if you guys want more reviews like this, please... Smash the like button, because myself, I actually haven't even opened up the other prop box that I have, that I own. And because I'm going to open it up and just do a review, because I'm, I'm, I'm never going to sell it, so might as well do a review of it, right? Okay, so I, this is going to be a pain in the ass to actually pop out. And you want to be very careful with this stuff, because it's very in there. But that's like one of their detailed pizza boxes, one of their... So we actually pop all the stuff out. The food's very easy to get out. Just the pizza, it's a pain in the ass, and you don't want to rip off any of the actual pieces. Um, of course, that was a joke because the pieces can't come off. But uh, yeah, it sits in there like that or like wherever you want to sit it. And you actually can put it on the table, which I actually have right over here. Um, and then if you actually, if you turn this around to, to, to the uh, backstage brawl, it doesn't really go with the playset besides this. And maybe you can smack your opponent in the face with a tray or something. But then this actually pops off. There's actually two pieces to this. See, it comes off like that. And then... Uh, you want to keep this because it, it is part of the set. And then, obviously, because you guys can see, it's all this is what I mean, but it's all individual. That's some nasty ass soda, dude. I would not drink that. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool to uh, like smack him in the face with a straw or something. This straw is attached, by the way. This, this is all attached. But look at that nasty soda. Ugh, God. And then you also got the fries. It's actually, these are actually all magnetic, I believe. Um, because if you look. This is the cool thing about the tray. Okay, this is what I'm. This is what I was like. When I first saw this tray, I was like, "What kind of tray? What the hell? Why is it so black right there?" And if you look on the bottom of these, these are actually all magnets. And that's that's the cool thing about the set. So they all magnetically can stand on this tray. And I'll show you what I mean. Watch. So they're all magnetically. So you also can put them all on, and they're all magnets, so they all stick on pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Fries, too, like, I, like, I don't know why they'd put the magnet on the bottom where the fries could actually stand up, but the, that's just me. So yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty cool. It, it takes a lot for them to, to fall. So as you can see, I'm shaking this. Besides, you know, the, the drink is a little off balance, but other than that, man, that's pretty awesome, right? Cool. The hot dogs, I don't believe these are just hot dogs. These are little weenies, okay? That's a big-ass weenie, I'm just saying. Um, and uh, you can put those in the figure's hands. So let's say, let's say, Rock wants a hot dog. You can put that right in his hand, like, like so. So it kind of pop his hand open a little bit. Get the Rock a hot dog. ASAP. There you go. Rock's got a hot dog. There you go. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. So, uh. There he goes. You guys can have a food plate. And what I hate about the picture is you guys look at the box. Let me just show you guys the box really quick. If you guys look at the picture, look at mankind. He's holding a hot dog in his hand with his hand open. And what I mean by that is like this. He's got an open hand. How in the hell can his hand open up and hold... Wait, actually, never mind. Because last time, I, you guys know what I mean. You can't... See what I mean? Like it'll just fall right off if you don't have the right if you don't have the right grip on it for him. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I actually hold it. But what I was trying to say was a lot of these figures, um, like with weapons with chairs, you cannot have him hold a chair with his hands open like that. It's a pain in the ass. But uh, there's some hot dogs. And then we're actually gonna get the mustard out right now. And you guys got oh shit. Oh, we actually have to pop them out like that. And you got the ketchup, it actually says ketchup on it. Very small lettering, but it does say ketchup. And then you pop this out, make sure your hand's there, because Airborne 41 didn't do that, and it will actually go over the floor. 
We got mustard. Actually, you guys, obviously, you got to shake it up a little bit before you put it on your hot dog. So, okay. And then you actually kind of pop this right off out of here like a soap. And the cars, the cart actually has wheels, working wheels. And this is even a pain in the ass to get out. Okay. Woo. There we go. So, and uh, the wheels actually move like, like that. Wheels move, wheels move. So the cane, if cane wanted to, cane could be like, what's up, motherfucker? You know, yeah, I can, I'm gonna serve you some, some motherfucking hot dogs, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so, um, this doesn't open up. Uh, this does. You can actually open it up. If you want to, you can put your, your condiments right in here. Like this, and if you want, take rock strength. You can, I wouldn't recommend it though. You can take rock strength, put them right in there. But the cool thing about this is, oh shit balls. Um, Notice how that square just flew. I have no idea where it flew. Um, you can, uh, these, all these little things come out. So, uh, if you want to just take all these squares out, you can. They're like little buckets. Um, obviously, I don't recommend this for kids, you know, um, only for like ages uh, four and up because there's a lot of pieces they can actually put in their mouth and swallow. So that's not very good. And also, if you want to like keep the hot dogs cold for some reason, you like your hot dogs cold. There you go. Put them right in there for no reason at all. You know, be careful when you open this up because this gets caught very quickly. So if you just trying to tell it, it it's hard to open up. You don't want to you don't want to break it. So tell it tell it is so it's crooked. You want to make sure it's uh, straight when you open it up, like that. Okay. Um. But that's pretty much it. Oh, and then um the umbrella that you can spin. Have a heyday with. Um, goes right here. Goes right in this little hole in the cart, like that. And uh, it'll just sit there. And there you go. There's your hot dog stand and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna pause this and show you guys all set up. So here it is, you guys. Here's a little setup, little scenario we got going on. Okay, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin just sold mankind all this food. Awesome. Got some fries, hot dog, and a drink. There are uh, fries, hot uh, fries, and a cheeseburger, or burger, whatever kind of nasty ass burger that is. Don't hold your horrible chef. Six drinking beer. Things got the soda. Never, no idea what kind of soda that is, but it looks like acid. Anyway, which is probably what mankind's on because of all the hits and bumps he can take. But sold it to him. And then we got Kane over here looking at, like, dude, I want that food. I'm gonna choke slam for that fucking food. Holding his mustard. About to put mustard on his wiener. And uh, hot dog, I mean hot dog, I'm very sorry about that for all the kids. Um, and then we have The Rock holding his wiener, I mean the hot dog. Staring at Austin like I'm going to rock bottom of your ass, but don't give me another hot dog. And then uh, obviously the table. So, uh, yeah, but that's, that's pretty much it. The table breaks very easily. I'm going to take all these off if I'm going to break the table. Pizza comes out. Um, like so. Like so. So let's say, you know... We, 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 Kane goes, goes away with his hot dog and mustard stuff, and then Bubba Ray Dudley and Devon just randomly start fighting and start beating the hell out of each other, and Devon grabs Bubba Ray Dudley like this and just goes, boom, and doesn't break it, and then he goes on top of Mankind's head and jumps, and then it breaks, kind of. So yeah, but yeah, the tables break, um, again, it's an old table, so it's, you know, you gotta actually, you know. Stuff like that. But if you actually, it's funny because if you actually look at this, it says Vince's Blue Plate Special and then Stone Cold Surprise and then the Game Burrito, Bulldog Burger, uh, British Bulldog, Rikishi, Hup, uh, Pat. I have no idea what the hell that means. Uh, Big Show, Patty Melt, Mark Henry, Hot Chocolate, Ew, Y2J Smoothie, Rock Bottom Pie, DX Hot, DX Hot Dogs. China Chili Bowl, which probably has a yeast infection. Mankind Raviolis, Federation Fettuccine, X Pac Pizza, Ken Kenny's Meatloaf, and No Mercy Omelet. That's fucking awesome. I thought that was the coolest thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more setups like this, please, or not setups, but reviews as well, please let me know by commenting and sharing, and please smash the like button and subscribe. And uh, um, we will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.